let's see this problem in this problem again both voltage symmetry and current symmetry actually don't bother actually i am requesting all the students not to bother about voltage symmetry current symmetry how to remember what to remember not required just by seeing the network automatically you will come to know okay see here for example if i divide this across this across this so symmetry is there or not yes so with respect to terminal symmetry is there in the sense entry current is i leaving current leaving current like whatever with the leaving current here same leaving current should be here and leaving current leaving current okay so whatever with the leaving currents here entering current should be here whatever with the leaving current here entering current should be there here whatever with the leaving current entering current should be there here in that way we can do but many currents will come many currents will come so i'm not doing that now if i think of if i think of symmetry from here okay so it is going to be folding symmetry voltage symmetry voltage symmetry means it is going to be symmetric or not yes it's going to be symmetric or not yes so problem here is solved see means upper section only if you consider and if you consider uh, calculating r equivalent that divided by 2 is going to be the equivalent resistance is going to be the equivalent resistance or only take upper section take half of the resistances only half of the resistance only net equivalent resistance across a and b can be solved okay now symmetry i have taken now let me solve it okay so this is going to be a okay from a here see here means the moment for example it is v1 because folding symmetry voltage symmetry if it is v1 it should be v1 if it is v2 it should be v2 if it is v3 it should be v3 if it is v4 it should be v4 if it is v5 it should be v5 it is vb okay so means folding symmetry means let me consider each resistance is half of it such that directly equivalent resistance is going to be net equivalent resistance or else if i take only r's only means at the end divided by two i have to do that's a simple mathematics okay now so from a to v1 this is v1 from v1 to v2 v1 to v2 okay v2 to v3 v1 to v2 v2 to v3 v3 to v4 v3 to v4 v4 to v5 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 to vb this is going to be b okay now let us add remaining from v1 this i have taken means this this so this this and from v3 v3 from v3 this is gone 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 so from v3 to v5 from v3 to v5 now each and every resistance is r by 2 r by 2 because symmetry okay now if you calculate r by 2 r by 2 r 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 so see here r by 2 r by 2 r r by 2 r by 2 r r r r by 2 r by 2 r by 2 r r by 2 r by 2 r r r r by 2 so if you see so r by 2 r by 2 r r r so this is going to be r by 2 and this is going to be r by 2 we are not applying any star delta conversion at all because it, it is symmetric now r by 2 r by 2 r r by 2 r by 2 r it is going to be 2 r is going to be the equivalent resistance of it that's enough.